the concept of fascial driven versus muscle driven uh, there's still a lot of confusion number one does fascia actually contract right is there any research evidence showing the fascia can can contract and absolutely that's dr robert schneib my colleague's work fascia contracts but not in the same way that the muscular contraction happens it contracts slowly in fact if you have a wound a gash on the side of your body if your fascia does not contract your wound actually don't even heal so if you think about you know the lions in the serengetis of africa there is no surgeons right so when they get into a fight uh, there is a big gash on the side of their body the fascia has to be extremely efficient they have to contract and heal the wounds now fascia's ability to co-contract and store and release elastic energy this is where the elite athleticism lies so think about this another example is apes gorillas they all have much more muscular strength and uh, absolute strength than humans right however when they throw they can only throw 20 miles per hour but humans we can throw up to 100 miles per hour or more why is that because in our shoulder we have well-built fascial system that allows the release of elastic storage from the fascia so as you can see it's not the absolute strength that matters it's really the storing and releasing of the potential energy that matters from a co-contraction co perspective you can also think about okay contracting your muscle let's say your core in the running in athletic movement um, a muscle driven type of move would be okay let me squeeze let me tighten my core and, and really try to squeeze my muscles that's a muscle driven type of muscular contraction versus the co-contraction which happens through movement from the fascia communication highway it then excites your cns and then your cns will turn on the core and then the tension actually happens not from the muscle but from the fascia first so the fascia tensioned and the muscle actually co-contract and engages that's how elite athletes body works and you can measure this through simple tests through the mild tongue tool you know at rest and doing activation phase so for example when a athlete is at rest you measure the glutes right you measure the glutes through the vibration the mild tongue to see how much of a stiffness do you have at rest they are not stiff they are they are more um, softer uh, and more liquid but as soon as you start to engage in activity athletic activity your adrenaline start flowing dopamine start flowing then your glutes hardens now is that person trying to squeeze the glutes no it happens through co fascial co-contraction through the mild fascial continuity and through this hyperarch fascial connection we're trying to build so this is what the difference is between a fascia driven versus a muscle driven athlete and uh, if you see anybody who says fascia cannot contract please correct them and refer them to dr robert schneib's research which also led him to win a gender award thank you